And we're continuing to follow that breaking news over on Jacksonville's west side. We have learned that two officers have been shot on the west side of Jacksonville tonight. This happened probably, I would say, a little less than an hour ago. Our Honey Rodriguez just arrived on the scene. Honey, can you tell me what you're seeing out there? That's right, Anthony. First, I want to let you know that I am on Seaboard Avenue. That is the closest location that JSO has been able to give us at this point. And I want to show you the scene. Here's what I'm looking at. Heavy police presence. Obviously, they've got this uh, Sam's Discount Food Mart bl uh, blocked off here by police tape. Then it continues on. We're going to keep walking here down uh, the road here towards this Seaboard Avenue intersection. And the scene continues, and I honestly don't know where the scene starts, but it continues down the road as well. You can probably see police uh, lights. I'm not sure uh, if this happened in someone's yard, in someone's home, if it's residential or if it happened at the gas station. JSO has been tweeting uh, so far. This is what they have. Two police officers have been shot. They're asking the media not to release any more information until they can confirm with those with family members and uh, as well as they if they have been notified at this point. Uh, they're also saying that they will update us as soon as they can. As of now, the only thing that uh, we have confirmed is that two officers have been shot. There's a lot of bystanders right now looking around, trying to figure out uh, what's going on. I just got on the scene and, um, you know, as I said earlier, heavy, heavy police presence. I want to keep walking down the street. Let's see if our photographer will walk down with me a little further past this gas station that's roped off. And I want to show you down the road. You see more patrol cars down Timaquana Road, I believe it is. And let's point towards that. Get more police officers that way. A lot of commotion out here. Everybody's sort of come out of their businesses nearby to, to see what's happening. Uh, to look around as soon as we have more information we'll make sure to tweet about it to update you on the air and of course online at first coast news back to you guys all right honey thank you yeah see if you can talk to anyone, anyone out there so we can learn exactly what's happening in this situation so once again we know two officers have been shot over on Jacksonville's west side, but we still don't know the extent of their injuries or how they're doing tonight or how this even all happened. But our honey Rodriguez just gave us an update there from the west side. Now we're also following a story involving two Kissimmee police officers who were shot and killed about an hour before this all happened. Uh, this is video that you're taking a look there, a heavy police presence. This is over in Kissimmee, uh, near Orlando, where two officers were shot and killed tonight. That was in the area of Palmway and Cypress Streets. Uh, Orange County Mayor Teresa Jacobs, she said this is a heartbreaking loss of two of Kissimmee's finest officers. Please join us in prayers for families, friends, and law enforcement. Uh, Florida Governor Rick Scott also expressing his condolences on Twitter about this situation, saying, heartbroken to hear the loss of these two officers. Our prayers are with all of Kissimmee police and their loved ones. This is also a tweet from Governor Scott about our situation here in Jacksonville. He says just learned of two uh, Jacksonville officers in danger tonight and we stand with all law enforcement in Florida. A lot of people on social media tonight offering their prayers uh, right now as we try to figure out exactly what happened. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office says they're going to update us as soon as they can, but they're asking us not to release a lot of information because they're trying to uh, notify the family members of these officers who were involved. You can imagine if you have family in law enforcement with a situation like this, a lot is going through your mind and it can be a very scary and frightening situation. So, of course, we want to uh, honor those families and keep them um, in mind tonight as we uh, share this information with you about what's exactly happening. That tweet that we have pulled up right here, this is from the Atlantic Beach Police Department. They're saying that their prayers are with a JSO tonight as two of their finest were shot. We do know that Governor Rick Scott had a call with FDLE after two Jacksonville officers were shot on the west side. And once again, this comes after two police officers were shot and killed in Kissimmee near Orlando. So once again, we're still learning more about what happened here on the west side. You're taking a live look. Our crew just arriving there on the scene. You can see quite a few police officers out there. Ahani said earlier that uh, some people from those nearby businesses in that area 
are uh, kind of standing out right now talking to each other just trying to figure out exactly what happened and of course so are we but you can see quite a few uh, flashing lights there from uh, police officers as they continue to investigate we don't know how many suspects were involved who shot who how this all happened we're still trying to get the latest information for you as soon as we can but our honey rodriguez she is on the scene she's uh trying to talk to people right now to try to see what they may have seen what they may have heard you can see that area there that they have a uh, police tape uh, roped off uh shari can you tell me once again what are the streets over there that we're looking at i know honey mentioned uh yeah Tim Aquana and Seaboard. So in that area, if you're familiar with that over on Jacksonville's west side, that looks like a liquor store over there in the corner, kind of where the uh, police officers are stationed. That looks like the uh, crime scene unit, the van there parked in that liquor store parking lot. But once again, this is Tim Aquana and Seaborn over on Jacksonville's west side. So two officers shot, still trying to learn information for you uh, tonight so we can figure out exactly what happened over there. Uh, we're going to continue to gather more information uh, in our newsroom. I know Hani uh, right now telling us she's going to go talk to some of those business owners in the area to see if they uh, saw anything, if they know what happened, so we can try to bring some information to you on air and also online. But once again, a horrible situation tonight in Florida because four officers have been shot, two officers shot and killed in Kissimmee, and then two of our own shot here in Jacksonville. So once again, stay with First Coast News as we continue to gather more information on this developing story. This has been a First Coast News special report. We now return to regular programming.